I will reduce the school tax," said Mayor Thomas. "And I won't," said Amelia Bedelia. "Our schools need more tax, especially thumb tax." "You tell him," shouted the crowd. "My goodness," said Mrs. Rogers. "They are fighting like cats and dogs." Hist! Bow wow wow! A big dog chased a cat across the stage. Mayor Thomas rescued the cat. Amelia Bedelia grabbed the dog. Good job," said Mayor Thomas. "You mean that?" said Amelia Bedelia. "I sure do," said Mayor Thomas. "You prove that you can be the dog catcher." I take back what I said. I apologize to you. I accept your apology," said Amelia Bedelia. "And now I can stop running for mayor." "No, don't quit!" shouted the crowd. "Listen to me," said Amelia Bedelia. "I said I would run for mayor unless Mayor Thomas took back what he said. He took it back, so now I don't have to run any more." No one moved or made a sound. I admire you," said the mayor. "You know how to keep a promise." He began to clap for Amelia Bedelia, and the whole crowd joined in. Good news," said Mr. Rogers. The mayor kept his promise. See there," said Mrs. Rogers. "You can teach an old dog new tricks." I don't have time," said Amelia Bedelia. And I am not catching any more dogs. I am going to the White House. The White House," said Mr. Rogers. "You are going to Washington?" "Of course not," said Amelia Bedelia. "I borrowed a book from Mrs. White. She said to leave it at our house." "Phew," said Mr. Rogers. "I thought you were running for president." I will do whatever you say," said Amelia Bedelia. Mister Rogers did not say one more word, even when he got his French toast.